Hey, what's up? Yuri from NX here. Do you want to build highly modular, well-structured applications? Well, that's what standalone application support is all about that we recently introduced in NX. So let's check it out. So normally, when you set up a new Mon repo with NX, especially if you go for the integrated option, you will get a structure like the following. I have here an application that has already an end-to-end -end test. I have a libraries folder, and that's basically where I'm starting. Now, let's imagine we develop a unicorn web shop. So what you usually will have is you will have different feature areas, domain areas, if you want. So you will have for sure something that handles the product list, something that handles the whole checkout process, including payments and refunds, something that handles the whole account part, so just visualizing your own profile as a logged in user, handling the sign up process and all of these things. So there's a lot of different areas that you need to cope with. And what you could do obviously in a React setup, for instance, is just to have subfolders here. And each folder kind of denotes the boundary area of that specific domain. Now, one of the problems there might be that this doesn't really scale well. Now, what we recommend folks to do when they adopt an X is to not have it in the shop application, but rather move as much as they can of their logic into the libs folders. Now, those libraries don't even need to be reusable. It's just a point of structuring the application. And so what they end up usually having is like here, an accounts folder, which groups all the various libraries that are supposed to work for the account part of the domain area of this application. Similarly for the checkout and also for our products part. Now, such a structure is actually very optimized for adding another application because it's literally a monorepo setup. So I could go here and actually just click NX generate application because I have NX console installed and it would generate me a new application into this workspace. And so I could go ahead and leverage the libraries that I have already or just create new ones and use it in that specific application. But what we have seen is that a lot of people actually don't even want to have multiple applications, but their main goal of going to NX was to have this type of structuring and layering of their application logic. So even though it was kind of possible to achieve that type of setup without the whole nesting of apps and libs, in 15.3, we actually introduced a whole new first class experience that is called standalone applications. So starting with 15.3, if you run create an X workspace, in addition to the package based and integrated monorepo option, you will now have also standalone options. Right now we have a React standalone setup as well as an Angular standalone setup, but we will add more in the future as well. So let's go with the React one. I just give it a name. Again, I can just call this my unicorn store. And so what that will give me now is this structure here. So you can already see we don't have any apps folder there because there's literally just one app, which we call a standalone app at the root level of our new workspace. Instead, we have now that source folder, which is literally our application, in this case, a React based application. Now, the whole structuring that we mentioned before of having a thin application structure up here, but moving a lot of the logic into libraries still holds. In fact, I can go ahead and just generate a new library. By using the command nx, then generate, I choose the novel React library here. I want to create a new library called user. I don't necessarily here need a bundler and I want to have the unit test runner vtest. Now, I want to also have this in a directory grouped under accounts. So if I do a dry run here, what would happen is that I get a root level accounts folder here with a sub library that is called users. Now, I can literally have all the libraries at the root level. However, I might want to actually structure them a bit more and potentially have them either under a libs folder, as we have seen an integrated monorepo setup, or I could also just call them features or modules. And so if I generate this, I get here a new modules folder with accounts underneath, and I can keep adding such libraries. So I probably also have a profile under that account one. And similarly, I would also potentially have like others, such as our product list, which I want to create under a products section in my modules. And so you can now see how I can structure my application into these different modules, each of them being now independent local libraries. And so given these are independent, that also means I can now run the building, the testing, the linting for those libraries independently. And so for instance, I can just go ahead and run npx nx test. 
And the name of my user library in this case will be a combination of the folder structure. So it will be modules, accounts, user. And you can also see that in that project.json file. And so I can just copy this and run this. And since for this setup, vtest has been configured, that will be executed now. And obviously this being NX, if I rerun this, the command would be cached and so it wouldn't be re-executed again. So you also obviously get all those benefits of the caching from those libraries. And obviously I can very easily import them because all of these libraries, if you look at the tsconfig based JSON, are being mapped via TypeScript path mappings at the root level config here. And so you can see now here for my profile page, I have the name of my project, which is like unicorn store, then the folder modules, accounts and profile. And this will be how I import it into my application. So for instance, let's go to my app here, to that app TSX file. And I can just go ahead and import here from my unicorn store accounts profile. And this will then give me here the profile component that has been generated for me when I did set up this library. And you can then obviously use those components just as you would normally in a React application. And obviously another benefit here, since we are using the NX plugins here for React, is that we get all those generators. So basically I can go ahead into my products list here and given that I have NX console installed, I can just go here into the lips folder and generate a new component, for instance. So I'm running here component, choose React component, say hello world. It already figured out the correct project here, which is the product list. And you can see it would generate now in that source folder lib, hello world, a new component. Obviously you don't have to use NX console. You can either just directly run this command or even just copy it here and reuse it then for the next ones. But if I click here run, what we will see is a new hello world folder in that lib folder with a new component. And so this is not obviously powerful in the sense you can easily spin up new components or new routes for your project, but it also helps you with consistency. You can even customize those generators, create your own, and therefore be able to have a very consistent setup of your libraries, your components, and much more. And obviously also the NX graph just works. I can run NPX NX graph. And so that gives me the usual NX graph window. Now for now the graph is very simple and it also really just shows one connection because we just connected one library to our application. But you can imagine how this can become more and more useful as you modularize your application structure into different more fine grade libraries. And that's not all. All the other features that you're accustomed to having in an integrated monorepo setup, such as having module boundary rules to isolate your libraries and feature areas and make sure there are no cross imports that you don't want to have, obviously work in such a standalone project setup as well. So I hope this was helpful. Definitely check out our other videos on the channel. Subscribe if you didn't and I'll catch you in the next one.